man a few days ago well a few nights ago i had to jump off the miata because it was cold outside and the battery died on it and look what the thing did to my genesis look at this can y'all see that all this soot gas stuff got all over my toe strap i don't like that toe strap was looking real red now it's looking splotty i don't like that but the rest of the car is looking pretty decent i guess all this pollen keeps getting all over it and but we're not going to talk about that in today's video in today's video we're going to be doing something that's very long overdue and uh i've been putting it off for so long now and that is putting my radio in or my head unit and changing this thing out and basically doing some painting along with that i have been doing a lot of painting lately with spray paint but i I don't really care about that. I think what I'm gonna do today is gonna be very nice, so stick around for the rest of the video and see what I got. Hopefully by the end of this video everything comes out nicely and I got a good thumbnail for today's video and all the spray paint came out good But let me just give you a quick synopsis or rundown on the thing that I'm gonna get done today. Hopefully um, Starting with the door. I'm gonna I'm not gonna touch the door handle or this little piece around the mirror Even though they're the silver part as well, but if you know about the Genesis coupe these things tend to happen a lot where around like the silver parts they just scratch up real easily and chip and all of that stuff and so today i'm gonna try to fix this stuff as well as put my head unit in and just a disclaimer for like i say on all of my how-to videos this isn't a how-to video because i don't even know how to this is just how i did it so take that for however you will but i'm gonna be painting this and I'm thinking about doing this white. Uh, I actually have some fabric that I'm gonna put over this part and I think that's gonna come out very good. But I'm gonna paint this white on the steering wheel. I'm leaving the chrome-ish stuff around on the instrument cluster. Um, this is gloss black already, but I think if I have enough fabric left over, I'm gonna be putting some of the fabric on here as well and painting the outside of this white. Uh, when I change out the head unit, this is going to be a head unit right here. And so the rest of this is going to be gloss black. And right here is going to be white. And I also have another shift boot, which is going to be the same fabric that's going inside of the door. And from the looks of it, I think that's it. Obviously, I'm going to do the same thing on that door as I do the driver's side door. But I think that's it. Like I said, I have this big box of stuff and I've had it for a while now. This uh, spray adhesive from Gorilla, uh, black paint, white paint, and the radio stuff that I got from Crushfield.com. I pretty much used them for all of my radio needs that I had, like in my first vehicle, my Mustang, my Miata, and now I'm gonna be in my Genesis. But I also have this shift boot that I got from InFocus a couple years ago, and I still didn't put this on. And this is the fabric that I was talking about. I don't have that much, as you can see, which is a bummer. But which radio did I end up going with? The Boss BV755B. Uh, I think this is touchscreen and all, so it should be pretty nice or fairly nice whenever it's hooked up and stuff. And then I also have this wiring adapter so I can still use my steering wheel controls. But I don't know how to put this stuff on there, so guess I'll be figuring it out now but one thing I do know is that I have to take the door card off the door and we can start that off by getting behind here there's a screw behind here and also another screw in here and once we do that I'll have to I think lift it up or pry it out or something I don't know I'm sure it shouldn't be too hard to figure out
All right, so after tugging with that, it was just these two screws right here. And then you have to take this little piece off, this little triangle piece. And then uh, you just pry it from the bottom. It's easier. It has little uh, slots that you could put uh, your little pieces in that you need to pull or like your screwdriver or a pick or whatever the case may be. But then once it's all broken loose or whatever, you just pick the door up and then you have the connections behind it that you just need to take loose and once you take those loose the panel should freely come away from the rest of the door I'm not even about to stunt like I wasn't doing this for like the past hour or so. But I finally got this piece off. And this is the piece that I was talking about that I was going to wrap in the little fabric that I have. And it's because of these. Like some of these were in by screws, like the corners or whatever. And I'm just putting the screws back in because obviously I can't. Because if you look over here, I had to cut off these little things right here these are plastic like soft plastic kind of and i guess whenever they were in the holes they just like pressed in or melted in or whatever the case may be but we had to cut these off and so once you cut those off it just freely came out pretty much after the screws were out and now that's where i am right now but i still have to do the other side which is going to be a lot easier because I've already done this side so I know what to do and I won't end up cutting my finger again. <laughs> but once I get that other door out, I'm going to start working on a steering wheel and then I'll finally be able to start painting this stuff and then head on and do the radio install. Dang bro, I done took my car apart, the doors at least. But I'm not finished taking stuff apart yet because we still got to take the steering wheel apart. I'm going to go ahead and take the battery, the negative cable off of the battery though. And then I'm going to go and take these screws off from behind the steering wheel. As you can see, like there's this one, this one. I believe there's two under here. Two? Yep, yeah, two under here. And then the other two like these on the other side. So I'm going to take those off and then hopefully the airbag comes out. And then there should be some screws holding this in on the inside. Yep, so as I thought, I had to take the airbag off. And now there are just these two screws and this should pop out. That's what it looks like anyways. I don't have paddle shifters or anything, so I don't know if that made a difference, but this should pop out now after I undo these two screws. All right, so I lied. There are either two or four more screws and you can see them right here. This is behind the buttons, like the steering wheel buttons. And this is a screw for them, but there's a little bitty tiny one right here for the trim. And I think I'm just going to take out the steering wheel buttons and this should all come out as one piece. But uh, if not, then I'll see what I can do about that. But I'm going to take these two screws out. There's one over here and one on the other side as well. And this should just pop out then. This is the second day that I've been working on this and I don't know where I left off to be honest last night or yesterday should I say because I was letting everything dry and uh, oh one thing that I want to tell y'all that if y'all are using oil based paint please make sure well not on this but please make sure 
that. Oh, I hope I wasn't zoomed in on myself like that. But like on this and on the door handles, please make sure that you have all your clear coat sanded off. I ended up having to redo these because I didn't. I just made sure they were smooth and it wasn't uh, all the way off. And I didn't prime these beforehand. Priming should help out with that. But as of now, I think I'm just gonna start throwing everything back in the car because I don't want to have a whole bunch of the car uh, not put together whenever I go to put the radio in. I still have to do that. That shouldn't take me that long. But I'm on the fence about if I really want to paint this or not because I'm gonna have to use a lot of my time painting this and I could just do this again another day. But I already have everything painted like the new one of these. This part is painted, it's black. I'm gonna do this black and a little ring around the shifter. Like it's gonna be white and then of course my new shift boot. So that's gonna look all good with the door cards and with the steering wheel being white. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm stoked to see what this looks like whenever it's all done with the new head unit in there. Everything black and white with the new fabric. I feel like that's gonna look very good. I wanna paint it so bad. Well, it just depends whenever I get to taking everything apart how it's gonna be. Cause I do need to take this apart for the radio anyway. So I'ma see whenever I get to putting everything back and start with that. So I didn't record actually painting this, but I think this came out pretty good. Like this was gloss black around here and this was like the little factory black. It wasn't gloss, but it wasn't matte either. I don't really know how to explain that. But basically I just took this out and there's some screws on the back of here. It's like four for this and two for this. You'll see that. Well, I can show you real quick. Like, yeah, see four screws and two screws, the black ones. And that's easy to take out, so I just spray painted that, spray painted that, and now it's time to put the radio in. I got Kiara here, she gonna be helping me out, putting this radio in, you know she can't miss a radio install. But this should be fairly quick, I don't think I'm gonna do a thorough explanation on this, just because this video is getting kinda long, and uh, yeah, pretty much have the radio, have the little wiring harness that they included with it. And then I get to finally put my shift knob and my shift boot on. Bruh, finally finished. And I'm not even gonna lie, like this isn't day three of doing this. 
I got up earlier, started trying to hook up everything. I didn't want to record it because I got tired of recording this because it's day three. It should have been done on day one. But uh, one thing that took so long was the paint though. The enamel paint, uh, it does take longer to dry than your regular average everyday spray paint. And so I actually don't know why I picked up the enamel. I should have just got a regular spray paint. But oh well, it's done now. But how do you feel about the interior? I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's not the average carbon look that everybody does to these cars. It does look pretty different. I do like how I have the fabric up here as well. I said I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I did it. And that's because I had to take that off anyways. But I'm tired of recording, I'm not even gonna lie. I still have a lot to pick up and clean up. I'm about to go ahead and end the video right here. If you like the video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comments and let me know if you like the interior of the Genesis now or if you don't like it. Either way it goes, it's gonna stay like that for a while. I do need to wet sand or just sand and respray it though because in some spots it started to bubble up. I know I could have done a better job with the sanding but I didn't want to go to the hardware store and get some more sandpaper. But now I'm just rambling on and on. Let me go ahead and end the video right here. If you aren't subscribed to the channel you might want to go ahead and subscribe because I always post some good content on the channel and everybody tends to give me great feedback. And if you're giving me great feedback then you might as well subscribe. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. I thank you all for watching.